Well, welcome to the road to Glasgow. We're here at Stockton Netball Stadium in Newcastle, and it's a bit chilly today. We're rugged up, but I can tell you it's 35 days to go till the Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth Games. And over there in Scotland, I can tell you what's got them all excited is this, the Queen's Baton. It's doing its homecoming tour, and I can tell you, look at Clyde here. He's getting right amongst it, as are all the kids, and they're having a great time. It's great to see. Now, Mossy, great to have you back on the show once again. And I'll let you touch the bat in there. I'll pass it over to you. I was going to say, maybe I could speak with it. Well, it'll be, it'll be good. Hopefully, it, uh, you can, we might allow you to speak with a Scottish accent. But speaking of Scotland and things that are famous in Scotland, I wanted to introduce you today to the Scottish beverage, uh, the carbonated beverage here, which is known as Iron Brew. And, uh, mate, you're a, you're a ginger, you're a redhead yourself, and I want you to have a little sip of this and see what you think you on here. Ha- have a look here at the can, Robbo. It's, it's like a, a ninja sprinter or something like that. It's going to run and jump. Up. Now, this has come from Scotland, so it might crack up. Nope, all over me. Righto. Now, while Mossy's consuming the uh, beverage, he's going to shotgun it, folks. Look at this. Here's the Mossy. He's true blue. And there it is, folks. He's necked it down. Mossy, that iron brew is the uh, national <laughs> drink of Scotland. There's more of that sold in Scotland than there is of any other beverage, and it's the official sponsor beverage of the Commonwealth Games, so uh, great to have them on board. What did you think of it? Tastes delicious, Robbo. <laughs> a few bubbles are coming out my eyes right now, but you know, nonetheless, brilliant. Can't wait to get over there and uh, have a few pints of iron <laughs> brew. I hear it's good for a hangover as well. So uh, we'll move swiftly on. Now, Mossy, as you can see, I've got the World Cup shirt on here. The Socceroos have been in action already. It's been unbelievable to see the action over there from uh, Rio and from Brazil. Look, it's a great little curtain raiser to the Commonwealth Games, I'll I tell you that much. You've yeah. been enjoying it? Oh, absolutely, mate. And as you mentioned there, Rio's been good, but how about Brazil? Mm. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, uh, we say Brazil, uh, we write it with a Z, but everywhere I've seen it is Brasil. Yep. The locals, I, I understand, call it Brazil, but you see Brazil, it's a bit like soccer and football, I guess. Well, uh, it doesn't make sense. Like, if I went into a waxing salon, as I do most Thursdays, and I said, I'd like a Brazilian, yes. they'd be confused. No, that's right. Well, well, confused. All we're asking for is some consistency. Mossy, the standout for me so far has been the vanishing spray. You might have seen that. Uh, the referees have been using that. Vanishing the, uh, the, the lines. We've got to put some out. down here, make sure you don't go any further. So, uh, vanishing, you can, look in, you can look at vanishing spray on Twitter, at vanishing spray. Uh, it's doing a, a fantastic job over there. We're having some ideas of how it might be used at the Commonwealth Games, and if you've got any ideas, folks, please write to us and, and let us know. One of the things that's been really fascinating to me, Robbo, is given the context of this whole year and everything that's going on, Commonwealth Games, as you know, Road to Glasgow, coming up very shortly. It is in the UK. There's no football, no soccer, no round ball, no world games at the Commonwealth Games. And there's sports in there that are absolute madness, like judo. <laughs> Look, it's outrageous to think uh, the Commonwealth, the British Empire that invented the sport, and yet they can't have it feature at their own British Empire Games. Interesting to note, Mossy, uh, Australia, the Socceroos, we lost our first match, but we are still on top of the table in terms of Commonwealth nations. So let's not forget that, folks. Um, as far as I know, there's only one other... Com- country in the competition from the Commonwealth so if it was to be there it would be a gold silver bronze a gold silver uh, medal match straight away so it's going to be interesting to see how that pans out now Mossy one other sport that is included in this year's Commonwealth Games I know you're a huge fan you've played a bit yourself it's the sport of hockey, and they have been having a great competition over there in The Hague. Tell us about it. Yeah, well, over there in the Netherlands, Robbo, are the Australian hockey teams, the men's and women's. It's been very rare, but they've, they've combined the events together these days. So our Kookaburras and our Hockey Roos were awesome. They both podiumed. The Hockey Roos, first time in 10 years they played in a final. Well done. Excellent well stuff, girls. Uh, and they were beaten 2-0 by the Netherlands, uh, unfortunately, but a silver medal nonetheless. And the Kookaburras, the mighty Kookaburras, continue their winning ways and they took out gold there in the Hague. In the Hague, um, the stadium there, Kaiseira Stadium, very much similar to what they've done at Hampton Park in that it was a drop-in pitch on a football field. Wow, there you go. Well, Mossy, with that success from the Aussies, is it too early to call gold medals, Glasgow gold medals, for the men's and women's Australian hockey teams? Uh, put them straight up there, mate. Uh, they'll both be over England. So, yeah, that's going to be even better. So two goals before we even leave. Now, as we see, Clyde, he's had a bit too much iron brew and he's just fallen over there. Last thing I want to quickly touch on, it's a big week here in Australia for State of Origin. And uh, we, we, we selected the Australian athletics team last week. And one little omen that we're hoping for, we're clutching onto here down in New South Wales, is that 
there are more New South Welsh athletes than there are Queensland athletes in the Australian athletics team for, for Glasgow. 29... <laughs> 29-22. Let's hope that's an omen. Come on, you blues. Oh. 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 Well, Mossy, as the set is absolutely falling apart around us here, it's been an absolute pleasure here at the Stockton Netball Arena. Thanks for coming on board once again. And remember, folks, until next week, run, jump, and chuck. chuck.